Hello and welcome, welcome to Monkey Business MB and today's video is for Baby Fridays and I'm actually going to do a review. I mentioned last Friday I was going to do a review on my thermometer but I, I decided to do two-in-one um, reviews because they, they came from the same brand and I bought them at the same time. So yes, let's get started for today's video. So, like I told you, I'm going to do a review on uh, the brand Summer. And this is going to be on Luna's high, well, it's not a high chair. It's a little chair for to eat and like to be seated. And also the thermometer, I will, um, I will do the thermometer first because it's tinier. I bought this because Luna, um, well, Luna got sick, but I didn't buy it because of that. I actually bought it because when I was looking for to buy this chair, this little thing, I needed to pay $10 to ship it. And if I bought something else for $10, then shipping was, was going to be free. So I figured to buy something else instead of just paying for the shipping, which is not going to cost, like, not give me anything. I added the thermometer, which cost $9.99. So basically... I, w I needed to pay the shipping anyways. You know what I mean? I got something for something else. Ah, yes, but this is the thermometer. Um, it's from the brand Summer, like I told you. And it's a little pacifier. I don't know if you can see that. And it has a little button here, which you turn it on. And it has the thermometer device thing inside of the nipple of the, of the pacifier in there and you turn it off the same way and I believe it's battery operated so you can take this off and then change I can't do it right now my fingernails hurt me uh, but you take this off and replace the battery inside like any other thermometer uh, but I find this uh, thermometer really useful for babies because it's easier to keep the pacifier on their mouth than it is to have one of those long pacifiers, which is the little tip. I should have got one to compare, but it's harder to keep the little tip on their mouth or poking their butthole. You don't want to do that or put it under their armpit. I think this one is... Um, it's more comfortable for babies to have a little pacifier that is going to take their temperature and is really accurate. I have tried it myself, like on my temperature, and tried it with the regular thermometer and it gives me the same temperature. Luna, um, the first time she used it, of course, she thought it was a pacifier, she started biting it, but nothing happened to it. So she kept it there and they gave me the temperature um, of the whatever she had. Um, it's from the brand Summer, like I told you, I put I will put down in the description box the link to where I bought it. I believe I bought it in, in Amazon's or, yeah, I think it was Amazon or, um, what is the other one? eBay. Can, can't remember right now, but I will put it, probably put it here. But yes, this is the pacifier and it came on my favorite color ever, teal, yes. And I think you should buy, if you have a little baby or even toddlers or even other like three and under, it's easier to keep a pacifier to check the temperature be and unlet, unlike the other TP one, which is not. Um, and this one, uh, since it's made in China, but it still works. And I, I like that it has a little thingy, which also keeps it from being having germs. And it has these two little holes which you can put a little string or a pacifier uh, holder and then keep it on their thing in case you don't want to lose it, but I love it. Okay, and then the next one, I'm gonna put it over here. The next one is this high chair. I was actually wanting to buy a Bumble chair, but that is really expensive. It was $40, $40 and up, and then I saw another another high chair that Mommy Simple Life featured on one of her videos. I will put that in the description box as well, a link to her video so you can see the chair that I was talking about. But it's also expensive. It's really nice and it has a lot of things that to put in uh, like little toys and all the other things that you could use the chair for. But I did not want her to spend uh, so much money on that because they're gonna use it for a like, temporary thing and then they're gonna be able to sit in one of them chairs, right? So, this one cost me, um, cost me $25, I believe. Or less than I will put the price right here right now. And, um, it has, 
it looks just like a bumble and you can use it just to be sitting on the ground or you can use it as to eating because it has a little platter here and you can attach it to the chair. I currently have it attached to the chair, but I will show you all the little features. So let me get closer to the chair. So this is a chair, I told you it's the same brand as uh, the pacifier, so it's summer, and it has white. Here's how, um, sorry if it's dirty, I tried to clean it before, but, oh, sorry. So it has these little, two little holes where you clinch the side of the thing. So you pull it a little bit and it goes inside, as well as the other side. You just open it and then clinch it back into the little hole, just like that, and it's secure in there. And it has a little thing for the cup and then the food. The only thing that I didn't like was this, that the cup holder is on the right side. I know Luna is going to be a right-handed uh, baby or child, but I just thought that um, having one chest on the right it was excluding the babies or the kids that are left-handed so they maybe they could have just put two holes on the both of the sides in case the baby is a lefty or a righty that's just my opinion but um so you take out the little tray and you have the thing to sit on it has a seat belt so it has the middle one which you connect to the side ones and it has like a little clenching thing it clicks right on and to take them off you actually have to press I have to actually press with my fingernails so you press down you hear the clicks and they come off so it's really secure for that uh, right now Luna fits in here with this rubbery thing but this can be taken off of course, I um, I don't want to take it out at the at the moment, but you can just take off the thing here and it comes off right off. And um, but hopefully you you're able to see. And it has and then you have the plastic here. You have the plastic here where she can sit. Your baby can sit. And you might be asking why did I got it green if she's a girl, but. I don't care about the color and this green one was cheaper than the other colors. I believe they had another one for blue and I didn't see a pink one. So I didn't buy the pink one. And um, yeah, so you can take off the rubbery thing and then the child can sit in there. Um, I'm going to take down, down on the bottom of the chair. I'm gonna try to put it down, see if I can see. It has a little device, a little clipping things as well to, um, to clinch it to the, let me see if I can get towards the bottom. It has like the seat belt thing, so it's really secure and you just pull it all the way down. You see? I'm gonna take them off so I can show you what I'm talking about. Another feature that the chair has. that the chair has is this little section on the middle this is removable so you can leave this for a baby so I, I think like six a mess a year a year or younger than is to have this middle section here so it's safer so that he doesn't or she doesn't flip down or out but it has this one on the bottom this thing to hold the other part that is used, I'm gonna take it off so I can show you. And it has this little section. Look, I even have the paper there so I can include it. And then this one right here, you can take it off. You just press down, you press together these little things and it comes off just like this. And now it has a little hole here. But um, I don't think you can put this in here because it's so big. But you can just save it somewhere else. But um, 
So when the baby is like a little bit bigger and then she can sit on maybe a toddler, you can change it with the other device, the other little part which is white and um, probably this little thing would be off by then and you can just clink, uh, clip it in there. You just press and it goes right in. Just like that. You can still keep the uh, rubber thing in there, but by the time I think, by the time I put this in here, Luna will be uh, a little bit thicker, so she will need this, but maybe it will be more comfortable to have this just because the plastic is so hard. But I, I like um, this uh, chair because it's almost like the dumb, the bumbo mispronouncing the chair but for the price that it, that it was for I like it and it has um, is used for eating and it's used for for just sitting and playing and it's used for a baby because it has this thing and it secures it from not falling and it's good for a toddler and you can put it right on the chair or you can even take it to a restaurant and just put it in there and not use the high chair and just light it in either if they have a chair or if they have a couch whatever it is that it is right yes so if I were to give this a number, like five stars, I would definitely give it a four and a half, just because if I take the rubber out, it has like a very dull bottom. So maybe it would have been nice if it had another rubbery thing right on her bottom so she can sit comfortably. But other than that, oh, and then because it doesn't have the other hole for the cup here in case the baby was a lefty or a righty. But other than that, I think it's an awesome chair and it's a great price. And I do give it a 4.5. And for the pacifier, I do give it a 5 out of 5 because it, it does its job and it's more convenient for the babies, like I told you. And I love it. And the brand summer, it's so cute and it has a little butterfly. Yay! So, that was my puppies. Um, so yeah, that's all for today's Baby Friday. Hopefully you like it and you were interested on the chair or the little pacifier. I will put down on the description box the information for everything where I bought it and then the video of Mommy Simple Life review on the other chair that she's talking about. So please check down on the, on the button down below and click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below, anything you like. And thank you so much for watching and then I will see you next time.